you guys, but I know that quite often I fall into the trap of whenever I do my makeup, I put a lot of it on, I make it really full coverage, and I pretty much end up not looking like myself at the end of it. I also think it's really important for us to get out there, show our almost natural faces, and still feel like we're a little bit glammed up. So today I just wanted to show you guys how you can feel a little bit more glam, a little bit more pretty, but with so much less products on your face. Now I do have quite dry skin, so I do find it very important to moisturize. So the first thing is I'm gonna go in with a moisturizer. So this is just the L'Oreal Revitalift Day Moisturizer. This is such a nice moisturizer. I really like it and it's really affordable. Obviously you can just get it from like Priceline. So I'm gonna go in and put some of that on my face first. A couple of nights a week, sometimes I'll do a mask on my face as well, just because my skin does get really dry. So I wanna kind of just keep it feeling really fresh especially around like my nose area. So this is where having a brow tattoo would actually come in really handy. I don't want to get it done because I'm like, oh, I change the shape of my brows so often. If you're going to be doing like a lighter face of makeup today, like I am, you probably want to have like a lighter product for your brows. This is currently the only one that I own. So it's the Anastasia Dip Brow in the shade Chocolate. I would recommend like maybe one of the pencil ones or something like that, like Benefit and Anastasia have really good ones. So I'm just going to kind of like really softly fill my brows in. Okay, this is... It's really hard to do this soft, but we'll try. I actually just lost my brow brush, so this is my housemate Bex one. And it's not as like precise as mine. Anyway, I still think I want to have that sort of set line underneath my brow there. Alright, so I'm just kind of using a, a much lighter hand than I normally would to kind of get them to look a little bit more natural and fluffy. I feel like that's pretty much as good as they're going to get using the dip brow. A pencil definitely, like I said, would have been much easier, but I just make the products that I have work. Now I'm just going to apply some of the MAC strobe cream. So this will just give my skin a little bit more of a dewy look because it is obviously so dry. So I'm going to use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This is the one in light pale. So I'm just going to apply just a really small amount of that to under my eyes because I don't want it to look like I actually have like any concealer or foundation on. So I'm just going to apply that concealer to under my eyes and then I'll just grab my beauty blender and blend it out. You want to really blend it really well so it almost looks like you've got nothing under your eyes. Now my nose is a little bit more red than the rest of my face so I'm going to apply some to my nose as well. I'm going to apply some in this part of my nose as well because I can see that that's a little bit red too. Alright, I'm going to apply just a small amount of that onto my eyelids as well and then I'll just blend it out once again. Just to make sure that none of that concealer creases, I'm just going to go in with the Australis Fresh and Flawless Powder and this one is in the shade Natural. So I'm going to take a little bit of that onto my beauty blender and just kind of pack a little bit of that on where I put the concealer. So next I'm going to go in with this one here. This is the Hourglass Ambient Luminous Light. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this in the spots that I would highlight. I love this product. If you guys have watched my other videos, you know that I apply it quite often. It's more of like a subtle highlight that looks more natural. So I really enjoy wearing this. And I still want to be like a little bit glowy when I don't have... A Kate's face of makeup on. All right, so next I'm gonna go in with some of the Hoola by Benefit. So this is just to bronze up my face a little bit. I obviously look really white and kind of just washed out. So I just wanna bring a little bit of color back into my face and make me look somewhat alive. So I'm gonna go in with just a real small amount of this and just kind of start to color my face a little bit. Now, obviously when I don't have a lot of makeup on, this is gonna look a lot different and I can't kind of pack on as much as I want. Like I do want it to look a lot more subtle. So I'm going to apply a lot less than what I normally would. So I literally only dipped into that product once and that's been enough to go over my whole face. I'll do a little bit on my jawline as well. Obviously you could apply some really natural false lashes if you really wanted to. I'm just going to be using mascara today. Now I'm just going to apply some mascara. I'm just going to go in with the Rimmel Volume Flash times 10. I can't open it because my hands are all slippery from the moisturizer. Now I do like to have really thick full lashes so I'm kind of going to keep layering this up for a little bit just to make sure my lashes are a little bit more intense because I do like my eyes to pop just a little bit. Now this video that I'm filming right now is actually going to be the third video that I've had up in a week. 
I don't know about you guys, but I'm so proud of myself because I struggle to film like one video a week. I'm so slack and this is going to be the third one. Now when I have pretty much no makeup on, I'm not a fan of putting like big heavy glosses or anything like that on my lips. So I'm just going to apply my favorite lip balm. So this is the Haroa Vet Ven, can't even speak. So this is the Haroa Vanilla Bean Lip Balm. These feel so like moisturizing. Domino's just sent me a text. L literally the only text messages I ever get are from Domino's. All right, so that's pretty much my face done. Now I'm just gonna take my hair out and give it a little bit of a style. I don't know about you guys, but if my hair's styled, I feel just like, I feel like I'm put together for the day. So we'll take it out, give it a, I don't know, I might have to run the straightener through the front of it or something. Do you know what? You can make that work. I don't normally get breakouts on my skin, so I'm not really stressed about it. I'm just gonna leave it. But obviously, if you're worrying about some little breakouts on your skin, you can just go in with a little bit of concealer and just kind of pat it over with a beauty blender as well, just to kind of cover those little spots. All right, so I've taken my hair out. I'm just going to kind of tease it. What is that? There's like something in my hair. I'm just going to tease it to give it just a little bit of volume so it looks like I've spent hours on styling it when I really haven't. Now, I did curl it with a straightening yesterday, so if you guys want to see how I did like my really rough, messy curls... I can do that in another video. Um, they're looking pretty gross because I did scrunch like a mousse through them yesterday to make them look really voluminous, but that's pretty much it. So another thing that I like to do before I leave the house to feel a little bit extra is just chuck some little earrings on. So these ones I got from Cook Eye, I'm just gonna pop those in. So that brings us to the end of today's tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. I just wanted to show you that you don't have to apply so many products to your face to feel pretty before you leave the house. Like you guys saw, I pretty much applied hardly anything to my face and I do feel a little bit more glam than I did when I first started the video. Obviously taking my hair out, just kind of scrunching it a little bit and giving it a tease made it look like I've actually put some effort into it when I completely didn't. And then just putting some earrings in kind of just topped off made me feel a little bit more glam. Now I think for us women, it's so important to be confident in the skin that you're in. So we do need to be able to rock our natural faces and not feel all self-conscious about it. So I hope this video has helped some of you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's tutorial. If you did, like always, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below because you guys know I love chatting with you. And I'll see you in my next video. Take